Hi, my name is Kathy Gallagher. I am a jewelry crafter and the owner-operator of Celtic Mink Jewelry. I have uh, been making jewelry about 15 years. I have been selling it for about seven. I would like to start a series of talks about jewelry, the materials that go into it, pros and cons of various materials, terms maybe you haven't heard before, and how to wear jewelry. So let's go all the way back to the beginning and talk about a brief history of jewelry. It wasn't unusual for prehistoric people to rely on readily available materials. Jewelry adorned with snail and shell charms represented the maternal wool. Fur and teeth were worn to symbolize a man's ability to hunt and feed his family. During this period, jewelry was worn as an amulet to ward off bad luck. First traces of jewelry made of precious metals and stones was discovered more than 5,000 years ago. So, wow, we have been wearing jewelry a very long time. The ancient Mesopotamians were fond of wearing gold and silver jewelry adorned with brightly colored gemstones. The ancient Chinese regarded jade and silver as highly valuable Ancient Greek and Roman women's clothing was fashioned with precious metal brooches. Mayan jewelry was often made from jade, gold, bronze, silver, and copper. Ancient Egyptian gold was highly sought after. Just like the treasures unearthed in King Tut's tomb, those who could afford it were allowed to wear jewelry in these ancient cultures, which was seen as a social status. Medieval religious symbolism played a significant role in the design of jewelry during that period. For example, the purity of Christ's blood was symbolized by crosses encrusted with pearls or rubies. However, it wasn't just the hairpins and hair combs adorned with silver, gold, or gemstones. Those who could afford it wore jewelry, not just the aristocracy. Upper class people wore gold, silver and precious gems. Lower class people wore copper and pewter. The evolution of jewelry had a significant impact during the age of exploration. During this period, gems from all over the world rose to prominence. Diamonds from India, rubies and emeralds from Burma, emeralds from Colombia and sapphires from Kashmir in northern India were sought after by jewelers and their customers due to the durability of these rare gemstones. But the way people look at jewelry has changed over time as have the customs and cultures. Nowadays it's not just the wealthy who can afford to purchase expensive jewelry. But jewelry can now also be made from various materials including textiles, leather, plastic, glass, and crystal. Jewelry can even be 3D printed in stainless steel, gold, and silver. Fashionable and expensive jewelry is worn by people from all walks of life. Jewelry is a beautiful way to express yourself. Thank you.